All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Don't look now, but there is enough drama with the Brooklyn Nets to fill up the entire East River. Kyrie Irving to play or not to play. We've seen the drama unfold. Kyrie Irving has decided to uh, not play right now. Basically said he doesn't want to play. Um, you know, we heard the reports that he contacted his teammates via text message to, uh, you know, issue his stance, but he didn't even contact his head coach, Steve Nash, nor general manager, Sean Marks. Now, right now, the Nets are six and six. They won last night when they beat the Den- uh, Denver Nuggets at home. But this is a team that is simply uh, searching for answers right now. We've seen this from Kyrie throughout his NBA career, whether it was with the Cleveland Cavaliers the Boston Celtics, and now the Brooklyn Nets. He is a selfish basketball player on and off the court. This was a guy in Cleveland that pre-LeBron, he could not get the Cavs to the playoffs once. With LeBron, he was not happy being the second banana. Went to the Boston Celtics. This was a team that was coming off of making the Eastern Conference Finals in the previous year, and the Boston Celtics simply regressed. Kyrie Irving left, and the Boston Celtics got better. But somehow, some way, the Brooklyn Nets thought, you know what, let's give him a max contract along with Kevin Durant, and everything will be fine. Now, what has happened now, Kyrie has basically left that same Kevin Durant who wanted to play with him in Brooklyn holding the bag. We've seen Kevin Durant, you know, ball out this season. He's had something to prove, obviously, after missing the entire 2019-2020 NBA season as he was recovering from an Achilles injury. But Kevin Durant has come back. He's shown that he can still score. Obviously, he's missed some games due to quarantine. But KD is out there doing his part to carry the team. And you look at this right now, Kyrie's selfish actions have left the Nets as a whole in a bad position because now Sean Marks and Steve Nash have to figure out what to do with him. And for the Nets players, they should be thankful that they're they're not in person with the media right now, but they still do have to answer questions virtually. But with that said, they now have to answer unnecessary questions about Kyrie Irving. And, you know, we haven't seen Kyrie play in more than a week. Uh, we've heard the stories about him being at a, at a family function and now the NBA has a hold of that video and possibly other videos and they're going to sit down and look at this uh but you look at it right now honestly I've been saying it before and I will say it again and I will continue to say it in the future don't feel sorry for the Brooklyn Nets because they put themselves in this situation like I said when the Nets thought that they won the lottery a while back and signing both Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving you saw both of these players they could not be happy in other situations they could not be happy playing for teams in smaller markets and now you expect the Nets to all of a sudden in the biggest media capital in the world to have these two divas come into your team and think everything was going to be great. This is the same Kyrie Irving that when the Nets signed Steve Nash to be their head coach said, you know what, we don't have a head coach. Myself and KD could take care of things. This is that same guy. So what did you expect? The Nets are stuck with his contract. Nobody is going to take Kyrie Irving's contract. So now the Nets have to sit up there and figure this out regardless whether they want to or not. Um, At the end of the day, the Nets have the talent to make the NBA playoffs, but I really don't see how far that is going to go because there's too much drama around this team. And you're looking at it, Kyrie and KD are supposed to be your best players, but they're also supposed to be your leaders. But these are the guys who bring the most drama to the table. So if your leaders are bringing this much drama to the table, how in the world are you going to succeed? This is not the first time that Kyrie Irving has pulled something like this, and I guarantee you that it won't be the last. So for the Brooklyn Nets, you got what you paid for, you deserve it, and at the end of the day, you're going to have to sit back, go to the table, and figure this thing out because nobody is going to do it, do it for you because you are stuck right now with one of the biggest head cases in the NBA. So folks, that is going to wrap it up, and as always, I want to take this time out to thank you for tuning in to the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast here on YouTube. I want to take this time out to thank all of you for subscribing, and if you have not already, please 
please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're on Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 Pounds of Sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it will be my pleasure to follow you right back. There's also the Sports Discussion Group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365. You can check it out. Drop a line and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks, my name is William Martin. Take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.